Hello everyone, your favorite Senso Tech Jedi back for number four, but this is actually part two of our learning about thumbnail tools. So I'm gonna pick up right where I left off from part one. In part one, we went over the tool sets right here, and now I'm gonna talk about the options that you have when you click on each of the devices down here that are in your thumbnail view. Now it's gonna be a little bit different from Chromebooks versus Windows, so let's just start with Chromebooks. So before I was putting a checkbox there to you know run any tools or do anything like that, on these, if I click on an image anywhere outside of that, it's gonna take me straight into this device. Now you can see that I, have this nice little tabbed view here that's gonna show me that I'm working primarily just in this device. I can have multiple tabs open if I want. I just go back to thumbnail view, click on other devices, and now I can actually click through this tab view and kind of click around on these devices here. When I'm ready to close those, that little X there, and then I can get right back to the device I was working on. Now, just something to remember, put back in that old nice brainium of yours is that if you are working here in this tab view and running any tools, it's only going to send it to this device. So those check boxes that I keep putting a lot of some importance on, those are going to be for when you want something to run on multiple devices. But if you're running any tools here in tab view, it's only going to run on the active tab that you are in. Now, the difference between Chromebook and Windows devices, we are locked in Chrome, Chromebook's API. They do not allow uh, uh, any software to go ahead and take over that device. So so we can't take it over like we can a Windows device. However, you do still have some tools available in this view. Of course, seeing it big screen like this, you can see everything that's happening on that device. This is not a screenshot, a timeline. This is a live view of what's happening on that Chromebook. So we're going to skip over to screen scale. You can change the screen scale just like you can on the Windows device. And you can also save a screen. So grab a screenshot of something that's happening on this device that you you might want to send to someone, uh, good or bad, whatever is there. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna close that, go back to thumbnail view, and now I'm going to click on one of my Windows devices. Now from here, all of these tool sets are available for this Windows device. From here, I typically it will default to no control. I will have a separate video in the network management tool set that will talk about profile settings where you can set some of these to default actions. Okay, so if it's on no control, I have no control. The end user has no idea. I'm just watching what they're doing on there. I can go to shared control. That means I have control. The end user has control as well. And then I have full control, meaning I full control. They can't click on anything or change anything. I am in this uh, view working on this device as if I was sitting right down in front of it. I have control alt delete. I can push out the control alt delete just like you would sitting at the keyboard wanting to get into task manager or log it out. Remote clipboard. Ooh, this is a really neat one. You can uh, sync up your clipboards so that you can copy information from your device to a remote device. I will give you a little tip on this one. This is not uh, the right click and use a menu. You will want to use keyboard shortcuts for this tool. Control V, Control C, that sort of thing. So from here, you can copy from the remote clipboard, you can paste clipboard text and you can sync your device to that remote device. Quality, this is going to be low, medium and high, just like I said over in the thumbnail view as well. Again, you can just change the quality of what you're looking at for these devices. Switch monitor, if again, you have a dual monitor setup, switch back and forth between those dual monitors. Here's that screen scale. You could take it out to best fit. Uh, you can stretch to fill. There's a lot of different options you have in here, even remote resolution of that device. Typically best fit, you know, fits right best in this thumbnail view. Save screen, again, that's the same option you had on Chromebooks. Go ahead and grab a screenshot of what is happening on that device and then remote settings if you needed to change it to legacy mode. Now let's look at a couple of extra little things you have here. Again, you could take it out to that full screen, come back down in here. And also when you're changing full screen here, you can uh, utilize that in the top right hand corner to come back to this view or you can hit escape. Now you can have full control of the device. So you see here, um, I now can go in and open things up, uh, close things down, you know, help my end user for whatever it is that I'm doing on this device. It looks like I have a block in place. That's something we're gonna talk about later on. But this is something that is a really great way for you to have full 
control of that device and do whatever you need to do on it. Okay, so those are the thumbnail tools. And in the next video, we're gonna start talking about some of the tools at the top. I'll see you there.